Supreme Ruler Ultimate. So it took me a little bit to get this game set up, um, not too long, but um, also the music's for the game. So we're gonna really see. Uh, I do one quick thing. Sorry. Okay, there we go. Just had my OBS right over chat screen. We're gonna see if uh, the music comes back. So uh, let me. Sorry. Let me do two things. What up, Liana? Uh, sorry. There we go. So normally that thing, that bar, I uh, got set up this morning. Uh, normally that's at top. However, that blocks like all the crucial information. Let's go into my options. Uh, let's go into sound. There we go. Maybe we have to manually restart it. That's still not loud. Hopefully that's a good thing. Okay. So, without further ado, let's get into this. So, uh, we're battling off against Iran, really. But, we still, we don't know what's gonna pop off. So, we don't really have many allies in the Middle East. Um, let's see what we, relationship we have with Saudi Arabia. So, we have air transit, which means we can refuel our aircraft there. There's not a lot of, uh, not a lot of support for us. Now, we do have, I think, is this... Yeah, this is a Diego Garcia base, which would be a great place to launch from. It's not too far away. We also have a... Do we have a full alliance? For the, no, we don't. Maybe our uh, mutual defense? Okay. Israel is not one doing an alliance, but as you can see, we have line of sight. We also had full transit treaty, which is awesome. That really helps us. Uh, Greece, we have some basics. Mm, let's see what else. Sweden definitely has nothing to do with us. Finland, we're on pretty good terms with. They have uh, some units out. Russia, definitely not on good terms with. Um, and I mean, as expected, uh, Western Europe is on pretty good terms with us, minus uh, Austria and Switzerland. They both hate us. So the current setup is called Trump Rising 2017. Apparently, Mark Rubio won. Um, I just picked this because I was like, I wanted something in the modern time. So I figured we'd go with this. Uh, let me do one other thing. I'm just going to up my volume. So hopefully that's better. Let me know how my volume's coming through. I uh, did some tweaking, so hopefully it's not cutting my uh, cutting me off when I talk. I test it, and everything seemed to be good. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm pausing. We're going to go at normal difficulty, or normal speed, sorry. Some diplomatic exchange. So we did, uh, I have it set up. Um, while I was setting things up, I did get a few requests for... Uh, trade right now we're doing really good on trade um i have it locked down because i want to stockpile a lot of stuff but i also had it set up 5 or 11 what up dude hope you're doing great today um if this music keeps cutting out i'm just gonna go to some music i have um we'll do it it's not the best musical selection give, give me a second guys let me uh let me uh go ahead and it's not great music but it, it's better than nothing See how OBS is taking that. Okay, there we go. Shout out to YouTube for free music. Okay, unit. Oh, alert level reduced, which is good. That means the world's at a more uh, peaceful. The best puppy. What up, dude? Hope you all are doing well. So it means the world's kind of peaceful. Um, 
in a peaceful stance. So we need to, first things first, I always like to do is bounce out the economy. So we're producing a decent amount of petroleum, extra coal. Let's go ahead and up our coal sales. 15% surplus now. We'll go do 40. Perfect. School started again today. I feel you, dude. I can start college in three days. Joy. So today's been like recording, getting live streaming on YouTube set up. A lot of, a lot of stuff. Um, oh, awesome. And now tensions heightened. Uh, heart level. Awesome. Let's see, uranium, we're not producing a lot, which, and you see trades are down, which means we're, we're, uh, consuming a lot. Let's see, we have 100% capacity, um, diplomatic offer, oh, they want, they're trying to, oh, that's cool, so they're selling us some missiles, sure, we'll take that, for that price, we, we could use missiles, um, so these are all of our, um, uranium, uh, Mines, I guess, and so things aren't things aren't as good as I was hoping. Oh, sorry, that's a, no, those are uranium mines. More to play. Hopefully that bell's not too loud. Let me know. I've I've never uh, recorded a stream of this game, so I don't know how it's gonna come through. Um, let me check some stuff. So as you can see, we have a pretty sizable military. Um, 260 ships, 821 aircraft, and 1,200 ground divisions. Um, Croatia, we'll do this. I really don't like working with like some non-allied nations, but money is money, so. Is there a little lag? Um, it could be that the game, um, especially if you're talking about like maybe the clock, that could be it. If not, let me know. Um, I might have to up some of the specs. OBS is being a little weird. Bell could be a tiny bit quieter. Let me go ahead and do that. Um, sounds. Sounds. Yeah, I know the bell made me jump just a little bit too. Now it could be. Um, I will say this is a pretty old game. I remember playing this back in the day. Um, the original, I think, 2010 or was it 2010 or 2020 was the first one. I played 2020 as the first one ever, and I remember getting Cold War, which I love. I played the crap out of. Then Ultimate came out, or sorry, uh, Supreme Rule 1936, and then Ultimate came out. And that's what I fell in love with. So, okay, let's go and do this. Um, our ultimate goal is to take out Iran, and uh, we're gonna do that. Yeah, this is not the smoothest game for zooming in out. So let's go ahead and start doing some stuff. Let's go. Um, I know we have some ships over here in these ports. So we have San Antonio. Is that really it for the ships we have in there? Ooh, that's not good. Here we go. We're gonna get some submarines out. We're gonna deploy. We're gonna go ahead and deploy a fleet near China. I wanna um, exercise our any political power. Michael, what up, dude? How's it going? It's going pretty good for me right now, actually. Um, so we have some Arleigh Burks coming out as well as some Ohio. Um, we'll send them there. I hope we have carriers. Do we have any carriers? Um, a lot of Arleigh Bucks. Oh, some Zumwalts, which is the brand new ones. Okay, we'll get that, but no carrier ships. Here's our thing. I'm going to deploy a few more subs. Let me get the, uh, subs out here. We're going to do something with these first three subs. Now, the next thing I want to do is, here we go, strategic targeting. Okay, so currently we have 27 nukes, so something we need to definitely work on is making sure we get our nuclear missile count up, because we can't nuke people if we don't have nukes. I'm going to send this first um, sub over there. I'm going to strategically deploy these to where they are near. Let's send that one there. I want to have them just being able to kind of cover the general areas where conflicts might come up. Mostly, in other words, I want them to be near the areas where we're gonna need to launch nukes. Uh, have I played Age of the First? I've only played the third one, but I love it. Um, I think there is a new one coming out, which I'm excited for. If that's the case, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> yes, my tactics are nukes. Lots of nukes. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and go realistic. Realistic. And Yokosuka is a military base in Japan where we have a fleet. So, we're going to send this fleet to Yokosuka. 
Um, the next thing we're going to do is here. I think this is where we have some um, ships. Oh, boys. Here we go. We're going to send you right there. This is where we got some carriers. Oh, here we go. Now we're going to get a couple Arleigh Burks out, some basic destroyers. Now, do we have any... Oh, boys. If you know what the Iowa is, it's going to be great. <laughs> have I played raids? Shadow Legends, no. But if I ever do play it, I'm going to make sure to do it on Nord VPN, which is considered to be the best VPN in the world. <laughs> God bless Red Shadow Legends. But, dudes, I I'll hate on them, but they're genius. Marketing wise, every you might hate on them, but everybody's heard of them. And you can't. You just, it's just shocking. Like. Okay, let's see. Do we have any? Come on. Do we not have any subs on our eastern coast? Okay, we have a bunch of Arleigh Burks. Oh, okay, here we go. We got some Ticonderogas, some cruisers. We're gonna go ahead and send these to. I know we have a base in Rota, Spain, so I'm trying to do this a little realistic too. Hundreds of your favorite characters. Oh, wow. I might have to check that out. Please sponsor me, Raid Shadow Legends. Um, Rota. Where is Rota? That's, I know we, I think we have three, uh, Arleigh Burks, if I know my military history correctly. So we're not gonna go that. We're gonna, we're gonna be nice. Now, we're gonna send our ships to Barcelona. We're gonna let them have some fun there. Um, so those ships are going over. I'm gonna double check here to see if we have any... I really don't want to have to send some subs all the way from uh, the west coast. Maybe here, here, here. <gasps> Wait, hold on. Oh, crap, no. <laughs> I got really excited, but that was just showing my overview. Okay, we're going to double check here. We do have two, okay. Um, so we're going to send these guys, including an Iowa class, we're going to send this towards... Um, Bruges. I want to get some ships forward deployed. We're going to get the Nimitz loaded up, and we're going to send this one sub to the uh, Mediterranean. And then we're going to send this guy all the way up north for no particular reason. We're not, we're not just happening to send him to Russia. We're, we're, we're sending him to Russia, guys. Just don't tell anybody. It's got to be safe for me and you. So, um, okay, now let's see, I know somewhere, let's see, ooh, arsenal, or air reserve, oh, okay, alert level reduced, awesome, alert level reduced also means I think we get, uh, or have to spend less money, so we got a bunch of raptors here, globe masters, I know there's somewhere around here, I think we have, Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and find us some F-18s, or maybe we'll go F-35s. CV, perfect. Where are you located? All the way over there. Do we not have a single bit of naval air power on this entire part of our country? Okay, no we don't. Well, looks like we're shipping them in from the other side of the world. country. I was about to say world. Uh, we'll go one, two, three F-35s, because, you know, we have to flex. And then one, two, three, four F-18s, and we'll send them all the way over here to be based off this carrier. Um, so let's check up on the big thing I'm trying to do. My goal is we're gonna, um, yes, I will. When I hit 1,000 subscribers, I definitely will. Um, honestly, monetization is cool and important to me, but I just, I enjoy sharing my content and what I enjoy playing with other people. Just the money's nice. As a broke college student, I just was, like, realizing I'm gonna have, to, like, the amount of money I spent on, like, a lot of, like, on some games is, like, the amount of money I'm gonna have to spend on, like, a textbook. Yo, guys, let's not, let's, uh, this is not meant to get political so let's just keep the politics out of this let's just have fun and we're gonna blow up the all of the world just mainly russian stuff okay so i guess the f-35s had to make a refueling stop 
Okay, uh, let's see. We have our first grouping of ships going. Those Arleigh Burks are just... Oh, man, they're moving. Um, what I'll do here is we're going to... Since we have... Uh, since we seem to have more um, Ohio's over here, we're going to send these two guys. We're going to send one there. Ooh, this song seems nice. And we'll send... We're, you know what? We're going to be ballsy with this, and we're going to go ahead and do a port visit somewhere over here. Uh, you know, no promises. We'll, we'll see. As long as Canada keeps importing maple syrup to us, we'll, we'll, we won't touch them. Okay. Wait, how many the Nimitz hold? Well, okay. Maybe they're just not recognizing that the Nimitz is there. We'll move it over here. There we go. And let's send the Nimitz over, boys. Fun fact uh, about the Nimitz is, um... Oh, James Watson, you're Canadian. Oh, I I'm sorry. Well, just like I said, dude, just keep coming with the maple syrup and you'll be fine. Um, so, fun fact about the Nimitz, it actually are Nimitz in real life. They have bigger air forces in some countries, which is kind of a giant meme. So, I I'm probably not going to do anything to Canada. Like, realistically, taking over Canada isn't really anything that I'm sure, like, worried about. Canada doesn't have a too big military well as we have, I think. Let's see, what relations do we have with them? Um, we'll even throw in a camera extra. Now, here's a little trick. If you ever played this game, see how it's... So this means it's acceptable, but they're not really necessarily going to accept it. So you just want to toss in like a billion dollars, boom. You pay them a billion, all oh, the bacon. I'm sorry dude, American bacon's better than Canadian bacon. I mean, I guess it's not really American, but it's, it's better in my opinion. Okay, um, we're going to send these Artley Burks. We're, and we're going to send them into the Mediterranean to Naples, where I actually think Naples is, we have a small station there for our, air, or for our Navy. Okay, now, let's, yeah, I don't remember where they are. Oh, we got missile silos there. So let's go. Apaches, F-18s, Raptors. Okay, here's what I wanted. Desk planes. Okay. So, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to. I'm mean, for this episode, slash episode. I, I don't know if I, I'm gonna split this up. Like, I'm also recording this at the same time. We're live streaming this in case I wanna break it up into episodes. <laughs> but for now, we're definitely gonna be Florida pulling a bunch of, uh, a bunch of units. Let's see, where's an airbase? Ramstein? I think that's where Ramstein was. Lens, um, slash is. From Oakville, Ontario. Okay, Ontario. I. Ontario's where, um, Ottawa is, right? It's, what is, um, Toronto? Is Toronto part of Ontario? I'm sorry for not knowing. If it is, then I've been to Ontario before. And if not, then I still would love to go back to Canada. I love, I just love it. It's a beautiful country. Everybody's nice, which is something you don't experience in America. <laughs> Let's see, uh, okay. Can, can you just make up your minds what you want? Like, do you want to lower, raise, lower, raise? It's going to be an every other day thing. If it is, I'm just going to go ahead and attack somebody just so we can get oh, uh, this taken care of. Okay. So we have some KC tents here, which is perfect. I'm going to send these guys. Those KC tents are going to be sent to Guam. Um, no, this is not the most fun to watch me just send units all over the world, but trust me, there's a reason. So, these KC tins are going to be sent all the way over here to, uh, Caserta. Caserta. Yes, Toronto is in Ontario. Yes. Thank you all. I knew, uh, Ottawa was in Ontario. But uh, nothing else, I know it's Ottawa, Ontario. Oh, just, I remember the O and O. It's so pretty here, I couldn't invade it. I probably won't. I might. I, no promises. It's just, I mean, I. Oh, it's so hard. First, I got. I'm allocating all those missiles to this, which means 
This is the coolest thing ever brought in. I think it came in in Cold War. Which also, let me know if the music's too loud. Um, healthcare free? I don't actually know if that's a thing. If it is, I'm down. Um, <laughs> this allows me to just click, like, if I want to use all 24, well, 31 missiles right now. Um, I click this, I select where to attack, and it auto targets them, which was the coolest thing. Because instead of having to individually target, because you can allocate uh, weapons. Um, oh, we got another one. Ooh, fancy. Um, so it just all I need to do is just go here to, let's see, um, well, in South America, where is, no, I'm not, I'm not that many, I'm gonna take it off of that, we'll just leave it on China or something. Okay, um, so the next thing I want to do is while we're waiting, military, we need to up our missile production. Uh, where is a good place to produce missiles? We'll just do it. Oh, here we go. We're just going to build up a bunch of missile facilities. So each one of these is, uh, these complexes are, I think, called six. Yes. Uh, six, which means we produce, we have seven, so six and six, sorry, six, forty-two. Thank you, high school, for teaching me one thing. So I can... Oh, dude, it is it is like 50 or 40 degrees here uh, Fahrenheit, and I'm freezing, so I, I can only imagine what it, you know, when it's close to the tens. So, okay. Um, we're, we're still producing units, which is good. Um, let's look at our missile product, our backlog. So we're producing 103, and a lot of them are peacekeepers with two days left. Okay, that's a good sign. lot of units still okay okay awesome if like offer from Guyana okay so let's see we're still does that mean we have a bunch more missiles now or are we have a little maybe they aren't uh, maybe they don't come into this okay no biggie though so well, that's going on. We have bombers sent. Um, I think this is where we had these units stationed. AC 10s. Okay, here's what I was looking for. We're going to go ahead and deploy all these, and we'll have them sent to Lambert Field because that's where near where we have a lot of uh, production. So, only three months to go. <laughs> Rip, bro. RIP! Okay, um... Let's see anything quickly to check up on. Okay, so... Let's go to reserve units. Oh, yes, here's the other thing I wanna do. Let's get some... One, two, three, four. Perfect, so... Um... We can just, we'll just do this cheating way. When in doubt, when you need to separate them, just send them to like two different areas to fly around. Okay, we're gonna send them to Hawaii. So these are E3 Century Recon aircraft. We're also going to deploy these to um, somewhere in this area. We have in real life have a Cleric airbase, which is a huge airbase. Let's see, where's somewhere we can afford to deploy these? Mostly because we're just we're deploying over here just to have spread. Totally not because I've rants over here. I would I would never do that. So we can't send them there. Uh, that's a little too close for comfort. Okay. Now Turkey really doesn't like us, so let's just make sure. Do we have? Uh... Oh, they won't even do missile defense, which means they would uh, shoot down any missiles coming over our territory or coming over their territory. I think armed at us. Okay, so that will help. So we have a lot of transports here, which is the cool part is now we're going to start sending units all over the world. Oh, perfect. Kansas City, right over here. So we're going to deploy all the mounted infantry from Kansas City, which I think we can only deploy 10 at a time. Do we have an airfield or any Topeka? Yes. We're going to send all of our units to Topeka as well as... Um, 
hopefully one C17 should be enough to pick all those units up. And so these aren't actually individual aircraft. Um, it's, uh, I think, squadrons. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. I used to get, I was like, confused. I was like, how is, how, how is, like, an entire division of, like, vehicles being picked up in one aircraft? And I was like, oh, wait. Probably a thing, so. Uh, I don't envy you on Canada. Like, I love the country. Just hate the weather. Come on. Yes. All right. C-17, you're going to be deployed to this over here to help protect our E-3s. Not, once again, not because Iran just happens to be over there. I would never just randomly deploy vehicles to incent incentivize a war. I mean, instigate. That's the word I'm looking for. Oh, here we go. These are what I love. Strikers, baby. Let's find the first one. Honestly, we'll just do... Oh, there, and there's a lot of them. Come on, Fort Carson. You're about to get a bunch of C-5s. We're going to send strikers to Europe, and then we're going to send some to... We're going to fill up three full C-5A galaxies. Um, so I know we actually have some upgraded C-5s, and I need to find if we have some produced. If not, then we'll have to start producing some, because... These basic C5s just won't cut it, guys. We need to, if we're gonna destroy an entire another country in this game, we gotta, we gotta go all the way. So, <laughs> let's see, here they come, perfect. Now the one thing I'm realizing that I might regret is I, I need to see, I don't know if it's a part of the base game now, but there used to be a small mod I it loved. It was, um, allowed me to transport aircraft and other aircraft. And it was the best thing. Okay, you know what? We almost have them all. Let's go ahead and just get... We have two more C5s. We do. It was destined, boys. It was It was all destined to be. Okay, these C5s. And we'll take... Um, boop. Boop. Like I said, once again, the cheating way to separate them. Okay, we're going to send them over here first to get a fuel, fuel stop at Otis Air National Guard Base. And, um, that way they'll have plenty of fuel to cross the Atlantic. Oh man, we're gonna need more aircraft. Holy crap. Okay, how many, maybe these aren't carrying as much as I thought. <laughs> okay, boys, we're gonna go find those upgraded C5s because these are only carrying one. I've heard your message, bro. Hold on. It's self review. Let me let me just minimize. <laughs> no, dude, that's no, that's that's okay, dude. So it, it's it auto halts anything that might have like swear words in it or anything. It's better it's one of those like better safe than sorry moments. <laughs> that was Oh, that was funny, dude. Okay, um let's see if we can find Ooh, Spectre gunships. Let's see where our transport aircraft C seventeen A's. Do we not have I think some C seven ooh C seventeen C's, but here we go, C5Ms. At Edwards? Oh yeah, here we go. Edwards. How are you doing, Edward? Who did, who's Edward to? I'm really curious. Okay, let's see how many we can get in here. Even if we can get two or three, what we might do is let's see, does San Antonio okay, there is a please tell me there's some sort of uh transport ship over here. Arlie Burks, okay. Here's what we're gonna do first off. We're gonna Think this has the LPDs in it? Yes. Okay, we're gonna get the LPDs over here sent to San Diego and we'll might just be faster in the long run to transform by sea. Okay. Let's see how many we hold here. Oh three. Heck to the yeah, dudes. This one C17 is take or C5 is taking as many of these as the entire last flight of other older C5s that, um, has in them. So, so I'm over here. And we'll have these guys go ahead and join, and we'll just do one big crossing. Actually, no, we're gonna send these guys. Um, here, we're gonna send them to Wisbon. Oh man, it's so nice. These these uh, sprites are beautiful. I'm guessing uh, Leopard One or Leopard Two? If it tell, if usually it'll tell me. I'm curious just to see kind of what. Leopard 2A6. Okay, so these other countries are pretty on par um, with us. 
so you guys are going to go all the way down here and you're going to go ahead and we're going to send these guys to Japan and some, uh, we'll unload them some in Japan, some in South Korea. Let's get some tanks going. Uh, M1A 2s, here we go. Of course, M1A 2s over here. Divine Providence that we're going to send them to, if I can find, the, you know, script. We're going to start from here. Okay, it really annoys me. Okay. Oh, some Bradleys too. We're going to hopefully have some sea transport over here. Or else it's going to take us a lot of flights. Ticonderoga, Bunker Hills, Lumwalt, Arley, Burks. Have some LPD San Antonio's there. Actually, I should have looked. So, uh, 92. So, if there's one before 92, it's not there, of course. Oh, heck yeah, here we go. Two, three. We'll send these three guys up. Actually, we'll just leave them. Yeah, we'll send them over here. Send these uh, M1As over here. Why is it holding? Is it seriously holding my name? Oh, I didn't mean to hide, guys. I'm sorry about that. I hid that by accident. I meant to hit show. It's a force of habit. Hi to you, to Adam Childress and James Watson. Can you name the first nuke after me? Yes, James. I will name the first nuke after you. And don't you worry. You only have to wait a few more minutes before we launch. Okay, actually, a little bit longer than that. Because like that's the downside of being the U.S. There's nobody I really want to attack that's near me, although we might just YOLO a missile somewhere. I mean, not YOLO a missile somewhere. Be responsible with our missile. Um, just to, just to see. <laughs> Such a terrible person. I'm just thinking, like, I'm seriously just thinking of nuke. Oh, wait, the Bahamas likes us. I'm thinking of nuking St. Kitts just so we can go ahead and, like... <laughs> Uh, are there mods for this game? Yes, there's plenty of mods, and actually there's a modding sweep where you can kind of make edits to units and stuff. I may or may not have edited a few units, just uh, like I cre like the C5M isn't in the game, but it is something in real life. It's less of an upgrade, more of a uh, or a, a new unit. It's more it's more of an upgrade to the existing C5 we have in the uh, in the game or uh, in uh, real life. So let's go ahead. We're gonna send. Let's see, we'll send these two guys over here. Okay, Diplomat offer from Estonia. They want, yes, please. Please buy stuff from me. How are we doing? Oh, we're, let's look at what our money's going towards. Um, treasury, I guess that's, Treasury's paying for stuff. Productions, that costing us a lot, and defense is, Taxation, which is, I don't want to up it all the way, I just want to, I don't know, we could just drop social spending, wow, we have social spending almost all the way up, we can drop it just a little bit to help us maintain, I know, I'm sorry, but can you name another nuke after me, yeah, sure, I'll, we'll name nukes after everybody here watching, don't you worry, I'm the Oprah Winfrey of nukes. You get a nuke and you get a nuke and you get a nuke. I'm sorry. Oh, so cringe. Speaking of stuff and the lip, like the Oprah Winfrey of stuff, I just give everybody tanks now for certain units. Okay. Get these tanks over here. We'll see if maybe one San Antonio might just be just enough to get all the units we need. What do we have in here? Ooh, Bradley's, yes. We'll get some more Bradley's going. Oh, wow. Just imagine going to New York for vacation and just boom, M1 Abrams and Bradley's everywhere. Okay, so let's go ahead and load this guy up. Okay, the AI... AI pathing is kind of like uh, Men of War in this game. It's not always the best. It's still a really great game. Um... We'll go ahead and agree to this. Um, I'm not doing much in terms of uh, research because I just it costs a lot of money and I don't feel like I get get a lot of bang for your buck out of it. 
Um, there is one thing. Oh, that's something else we need to do. We're going to start a green initiative, mostly because we have a lot of uh, nuclear fuel plants, but they're not enough to kind of uh, pay for everything. Or, when it, or not pay for everything, but um, produce all the energy we use. Come on. Oh, Bradley's, come on. Can you maybe get in? We're going to try and fit them all in. Come on. Don't do this. I hate having just three. Okay. Well, we got one. Next stop. Um, you, you know, let's see here. Okay. Merson. Uh, okay. Um, Turkey. I couldn't come. How can I not come with Turkey? Like, I've been hungry all day. You think of all the countries. I could at least come with the name of the country named after a, sort, or a type of food. Yeah, dude, I, I enjoy, like, I still enjoy watching small YouTubers, because it, it's fun, you get a little more interaction with uh, them, as opposed to just being some other, like, just some other viewer. We'll just put these guys down here, you know, just just to check out that area, Not no reason. Okay, so we have decent relations with the Kurds. Um, I didn't really have much choice. Um, oh, ISIL, okay, boys. You know what time, You I didn't realize ISIS was part of this game, okay. Well, that changes a lot of things. Okay, um, let's get some C-17s. Where are, let's see. Let's see what we have in Fort Bragg. Oh, we got Rangers and Airborne, okay. So these are gonna be probably really light units and we're gonna go ahead and let's get one, two, I'd like if they ever do another version of this game, I'd love to see them like a better way to uh, No, don't not worried about really researching new units um, I'd love to see a better way to like select units um, More strikers, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna Get ten more strikers and we're gonna send them Up here to Philly and we'll have them load in Okay Oh wow, that one Globemaster took it all, okay. Well, that's nice. So we're gonna send these airborne divisions all the way over here to Turkey. Perfect, these guys are here. Now we have all the strikers there, we'll have them fall back. Do we have, ooh, Dobbins Air Base. <laughs> It just immediately made me think of um, Dobby. Dobby was a good elf. Rip. Okay. Um, we'll keep those F-16s here until those C-5s get back to see if we can actually load them in. Um, until then, let's go ahead and start deploying some strikers. So at first off, I need to do a power move as America to ensure Turkey... Um, we have to make sure Turkey sits and stays with us, so we're just gonna casually send two striker brigades to Istanbul. And we're gonna send two, um, to, uh, let's see, Ankara. Just, oh, actually, the military base right next to Ankara. We'll send these three guys right over here. We'll send these two guys right, sorry, not right there. Apparently, there is a uh, Japanese spy in Turkey. Oh, yeah, James, I don't know, you might have missed it. We uh, have uh, subs. We have subs all over the world currently. So we have a sub there, a sub there, a sub. I think there's a sub. Yeah, there's a sub right there. We might be sending a sub right up there. Okay, this sub, the sub that's supposed to go up there, decided to go right there. So we're gonna. There we go. We also have a sub somewhere. Oh, yeah, right there. Um, do we have any. Okay, here's what we need to do we need to go ahead and get some. We need to make sure we can get some nukes built for our sub. Um, where did we build all those? Here we go, let's see. 156 days till we get these missile complexes up. Okay, that's not bad. Um, we're still producing a decent amount of... Okay, I think these missiles might be glitched, so we're just gonna go ahead. I guess they're stuck on two days, which, no biggie. Um, this will get some fresh guys into the mix. Ah. Yeah, 
that because that might be why we're only producing one missile at a time. Go ahead and take all these guys off. Just for a second. Let's, we're gonna do some quickly. Let's see if these produce. It's weird that's only, oh, I know what it is. Oh, it's cause we don't have, okay, that might be it. Okay, we're gonna need to buy, oh, that, here we go. That could be it. Okay, so we per, we're buying a bunch. That's gonna hit our bank accounts hard. Okay, now let's see if that cho changes our production. Yeah, okay, so here's what we need to do. Build industrial, we don't have uranium. And all of our uranium missiles require uranium, obviously. So we're gonna create jobs, boys. Speaking of DEF CON, I think I, I have a couple friends that play DEF CON and we might go and uh, I might do a video with them on some DEF CON because that's a, that's a fun game man that, and that's a throwback and that's, I always say this, DEF CON, if you haven't played it, think of like Monopoly of strategy games because you will lose friends over that. There is, I've, oh man. games last maybe an hour and then just the, the like everlasting effects about 12 hours at least I mean there's some people that I mean I uh, because you can you make secret you can make secret alliances now don't when I say monopoly don't think it actually plays like monopoly it's just you know how you always say if there's a want to get if there if you want to like have somebody stop being your friend play monopoly you play defcon when it comes to PC games so here we go you know what I should have I, I made a smart decision. After playing this game for about 3,000 hours, I had this epiphany. I was like, there's so much clicking. It always hurts my finger. I was like, what can I do? I was like, I could just download an auto clicker. And I didn't launch it for the stream, and I regret it because it would just be so great right now. And honestly, if I have to do something like this again, I'm going to get it. Okay, so that could explain why we're not producing missiles at the rate I thought. So we're gonna try and do more bulk por uh, purchases. <laughs> purchases. Okay. I don't know why I paused this. It's not like doing this any day sooner is gonna make a huge difference. This is also just giving. Uh, what's great about this is it's giving a chance for all of our naval units to kind of get in place without us having to wait. Up the bell. Do I still need to lower the bell sound? Is it still too or that loud for y'all? Because honestly, I normally play with this game without sounds, but also, like, it's really good. Okay, we're gonna slow it down for a second now. Um, to have them, because it kind of gives you, or helps keep you in the moment. What's going on? Uh, of course, pretty much back and forth, raising and lowering DEFCON. Don't you worry about that. We'll lower world tension by destroying ISIS. Also, I feel like that might have just got this completely demonetized. Um, okay. So, Striker, we're just gonna send you back to the reserves. Okay, so, can we load this guy into? Yes, we can. Awesome. I think I loaded a C5 into this. <laughs> oh, guys. I loaded a C5 into my C5. Dudes, unlo- okay. Big brains, what if I just get a bunch of C5s, fill them up, then load them into C5s, and just <laughs> big brain plays, boys. Okay, that's gonna end up being an issue in the long run. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some more F16s. I think I just brought out a Spectre gunship. I did, but that is good, because we need Spectres. And here we go, boys. Here we go. Now, one thing I've learned from Supreme Ruler Cold War is you can never have enough aircraft. And so, 
why deploy just a couple of aircraft when I can deploy an entire Air Force with the aircraft? And guess where all these guys are going? Right over here. Uh, we'll send them to a different airbase. Send them to that airbase. Let's go ahead and unload. Actually, no. We're going to send this guy back here because he has paratroopers in him. That's something we need to keep in mind. We also need to now... Um, let's see. Where do we have helicopters? We need helicopters, boys. We're going to get this... Um, ooh, let's see. Camp Bowie. Thankfully, right over here near the C 17s. I don't. Where, where is it? Oh, here it is. Uh, sorry, guys, my eyes just itching like crazy. Oh, there we go. Man, I don't know why my eye just was like, yo, I'm here and I itch. Let's get some longbow Apaches. And some pavehawks. I've grown pavehawks. A couple of Chinooks. See, I'm. I don't ever have like a lot of Ryan Murray's, and I just kind of like, okay, is this enough? I don't know. And a King Stallion. Let's see how much we can get in here. Okay, so how many units do we have in there? Yeah, that should be enough. Yeah, no, 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 no. Say that, and then I'm like, nope, change my mind. Oh, I forgot to load these guys up. Okay, there we go. Do I have any more, maybe, units around here? I don't know what this is. I don't know what this song is. Honestly, I'm just going to be... I went on to, <laughs> to be honest, I went to the YouTube library right before doing this. I like started clicking on stuff. I was like, okay, this sounds cool. This sounds cool. This sounds cool. I was just like download, download, download. This is the first like five seconds. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the pro tip after I just spent like 30 seconds like hardcore rubbing my eye. <laughs> I'll remember that, but <laughs> assuming I don't die from rubbing my eye. <laughs> okay. And these guys will send, uh, okay. I need more airfields. Turkey, build airfields. And Italia. Okay. Okay, and now we're going to send these guys back because we need to pick up more tanks. So we are just going casually. Um, right there. How about right there. I don't know if I sent them both to the same place. If I did, double the trouble I did. So there we go. That guy goes there. Okay, a bunch of Bradleys. Um, we'll send these guys right here. And we'll send these guys right here. I could be like, I could probably like break down and be like, okay, these many Bradleys are like, how many we need to complement this amount of tanks to like get the best like firepower best bang for our buck but then i'm just like oh i could just point and click and do it, it looks cool so we're still not producing that many missiles which really sucks buy up to needed uh, mark availability poor okay we're gonna speed up for a second and buy hopefully see if i can buy a bunch of nuclear materials okay um let's Bulk purchase. There's a number of units, I was hoping we'd get a lot more than that. But let's take a look at how many missiles we have now. There we go, boys. There we go. Okay, so I'm not really worried about the missile too much when it comes to things, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this for a reason. Those guys are good. Okay. So we're going to have them, as soon as they make that turn, we're going to send them to unload. We're going to pause, tell them to unload there, and unpause. 
Perfect. And we're going to send these guys back and we'll just have the sentries uh, drop off in a second. Uh, they're just a little bit slower. There we go. I mean, I'm America. Let's see. Let's see. How much fuel do I have? Oh, yeah. I've, I am. I have so much like petroleum that I have. I have a year over a year of reserves of petroleum left. So I'm not really worried about, you know, expending some fuel. We'll send these guys up north. I think it's time for me to, yep, have to restart the music. Ooh, this song's pretty nice. So I had when I launched this stream. I don't know, but this is, this is nice. Yeah, how's the quality? Let me, I haven't really, uh, I hope it's 1080p. I, I hope it's at least coming through as that. Okay, it looks like it is. Okay, awesome. So Turkey's got a military, so... What? Let me take a look at what... Um... Reconnaissance aircraft... Okay, I have some Global Hawks. Let's get us... We're gonna send two Global Hawks and a J-Star. What's the range of our global hawks? Five, okay. 5,500 kilometers, which is going to be perfect. We're going to send them over here. Is there anything closer? Perfect. We're going to send them here. We're going to station them up there. Man, we're, we're losing a lot of money, boys. It's, it's all... I think it's all because of trades. State Treasury Defense is worth. I haven't really spent that much money in defense. Um, what else am I trying to do? Okay, we have that guy going. We have these guys. We'll leave the San Antonio's there. Um, what? Guys? Oh yeah, the these two E3 centuries. What? Is their range? Okay, they have seven thousand. We're trying to. Uh, We'll send it to Diego Garcia. Can we get... Can we get air transit from Malaysia? Nope, line of sight is a no-go, but let's see if we can get some air transit before... Um, because right now it is set that our air units won't go over neutral... Um, uh, neutral territory. See if we can, hopefully this this is basically how you do air in air refueling in this game. So as we see they have 14. Oh, okay, so um a cool addition they also had is that um uh like they, they won't take resources in exchange they take more uh fuel, which is a nice thing. It's like taking I guess like taking external drop pods. Do you have to do farming in this game? Well, you can if you want to do farming. There's a whole agriculture, which I have plenty of. Then we're gonna sell in condition. What is there? Is there anything good to sell? Static. Okay, um. Favorable. Okay, let's go ahead and up our selling to 40%. Now we're stockpiling military goods because we just. There's no reason not to. It's military goods. Um. Can sell external electricity. Oh, that's the other thing I was talking about. Let's see, we have, I think we have some pretty good, so we have fusion now. I don't think we have a single fusion reactor. Um, so, let's take a look at this for a second. All well, units are, so coal produces 626,000, while fusion produces 1.25, and nuclear produces 1. Point, okay. Industry goods, it uses 108,000 as opposed to... Oh, fusion doesn't even use... Okay, well, um... You get fusion. This is gonna cost us a lot of money, but we're gonna use this to offset a... Okay, first off, that's how you go bankrupt, boys. I just... 
had sniff my nose, and hopefully my mute button worked. Um, go green, or is it just right? Uh, yeah, so it's just right. You don't actually, like, actually farm things, like in, say, farming sim. Um, static. Well, up that nuclear thing. We have a small enough stock stockpile. So, we're producing a lot of nukes, but we're also... Have like a lot of basic J dams, basic um, things. Uh, okay, we can always produce more Minutemen um, missiles. Let's do this because this is, uh, as you can see, there went all of our money. It just factored in the cost to make all those reactors. Oof, boys, we might have to take out a, a loan. So we're gonna do this. Um, we've, we've lost a little bit of money, boys. By a little bit, I mean a lot. But don't worry, boys. We're soon gonna come into contact with a lot of oil. Oil. A lot of oil. Um, I'm not gonna say how, but we're gonna come into contact with a lot of oil, boys. Um, so let's see how, how our units are doing. Um, Start with that little stutter there. There we go. Be quick with that little jump. Send those guys back there. Um, we have five strikers. We have very, very few units there. Okay, um, here's the next thing we're gonna do. Now, yeah, dude, this is a nice song. We've got some B-52 boys. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and um, let's see if our E3's made it. It did. Oh, I clicked next to it, so like we're just gonna continuously fly around. Um, so, let's see. We're gonna use this to just judge. We have plenty of silo launch missiles. How are we doing on money now? What is costing us the most amount of money? Treasury production. I guess treasury is probably trades. All those nukes. So we're gonna, we have two B-52s here. So, um, here's the main thing I want to do. We're going to go ahead and... Where is it? Grill out air units path, and we are going to do some scouting runs on what is left of ISIL. Oh, wait, that's Iraq, never mind. <laughs> okay, Kurdistan, oh, I forget, Kurdistan gave us um, free use of their airspace. Okay, not too bad. This one Global Hawk can pretty much Let's see how much fuel. What's the range on it? 55. Not terrible. We have some artillery over there. That's that might be a little bit of an issue destroying. We'll have to be smart about airstrikes. So I'm gonna do this first. Okay, that Spectre there. That goes there, and you'll see what I'm about to do. So I'll just have all that go there. Have that. Okay, we're gonna group that to group two. And we're gonna group these guys. Mostly, if I wanted dinner, which I was like, very much so, mother, I'm a star starving college kid. Okay, so. Does this have enough time? It does have plenty of, uh, fuel to linger. Okay, so we have that. Um, we'll also keep this J star over here. Actually, you know what? We're gonna have some. Let's do something else. We're gonna send it over here. And solely as a defensive and purely, like I said, purely defensive and not offensive in nature whatsoever. 
to tr um, do recon along the Iraq or sorry Iran border. Purely defensive, boys. I can't stress enough. A defensive troll. Because these tanks are here for defensive purposes, not offensive. I would never do anything offensive like that. There we go. The C 17s will have them fly back. And as soon as these guys get back, we'll have them ferry over some more troops for defensive purposes. Okay. Can't wait till we get access to or produce. Oh, we do. Yes, boys. Yes, yes, yes. Um, is that a British port? Yes, it is. And we can resupply there. We have nukes for our subs, boys. We have seven of them. Okay. So, uh, let me do this. Oh, they've fallen back. Okay. Well, boys, I think you know what we must do now. Um, let's pull this Global Hawk back. Let me do one other thing. Let me check to see. Um, there's, a, there's a way I used to be able to... S oh, there was. Oh, here it is. Enemies, Iraq and Syria. Okay. Well, in honor of... Fiverr and James Watson. This one's for you, boys. Let's go. Um, this one's for y'all. We're only using 25%. We come over here, we should be able to see them. I guess not. We'll just we'll wait over here. We'll just we'll see the missiles anytime now. Yes, we'll accept your diplomatic offer. Do, 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 do. This is the worst part. Now, now we just sit here and wait for a second for the missiles to pop up. And pray they didn't get shot down. Because they could have gotten shot down, but don't you worry. If they got shot down, I have backup plans. And by backup plans, I mean more nukes. I have plenty more nukes. Just casually send that guy right there. Actually, we'll just send him right there. I don't even care. It's Syria. And maybe we need to speed up, and that's it. I found the missiles, boys. I found the missiles. Okay, we need to turn off pause, and we need to turn this down to slow. Now, boys, that hashtag Desert Storm. I gotta Desert Storm this. Let's get some. That's what we're missing. We're missing A10s.
they strike our brigades to secure the rest of that uh, supply route. I see you, see, I see you, is that, I, I see you, Iraq, trying to get in on my victory. No, sir, not gonna happen. Ah, uh, yeah. And now we sit here and wait for a second because I forgot to secure supply lines. Woohoo! What, Jason? Me? Or, why I just called you Jason? <laughs> oh, what, me, boys? A warmonger? I, I don't think so. I would never, never unnecessarily start a war. And unnecessarily make it. And I would never just launch a nuke into the middle of the desert just for my own game to watch a nuke play for that is right, boys. I launched a nuke just so I could say I launched a nuke. Oh, crap. I, have, I forgot about something. Here's what we can do. Uh, dang, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have taken all the transports away. Um, we'll take the King Stallion. <gasps> no, we do have a Globemaster. Okay, screw the King Stallion. We have airborne infantry for a reason, boys. You get out of there. You get out of there. Make my life a little easier. Oh, never mind. We colonized. I colonized it basically because. Well, okay. Never mind. We have territory here. Uh, that just means I don't have to worry about running their crappy country. But I can still use their country as a base for operations. So, Viva La Pinto. Now, boys. I would. Part of me wants to just go for it. And I'm not opposed to just going for it. But my concern is, and I think we all share the same concern, do we have enough nukes? Well, let's do let's do a nuke check. Um, 13 sub-launched. And, oh, we used all of our missiles. Okay, yeah, we're going to need to wait a second because we don't have the nukes right now. Um... And until we get our nuke, our uranium mines online, that's 40 days, boys. 40 days. That's that's a long time. What we'll do is here. We're not going to have to worry about this. So we're going to go super, super time. Because once we get this uranium production up, um, just, you know, boys, we're going to do this. We're just going to up it just a little bit. Here's what we can do. We're spending a lot of money to make people happy. We sh they should be happy with all of our nukes. See, that's what it was. We're giving people... We, we don't teach people how to go to do math. We teach them how to build a nuclear bomb. So that, that's our issue. Okay. Um, unit construction, no. Unit design. Oh, we completed unit designs. Okay. Region Falls. We'll we'll make sure um, to not have that delete. I, and I <laughs> okay, so a delete. <laughs> LOL. See, look, I did what nobody else could do. I destroyed ISIS. Granted, I might have made a ton of glass, but hey, dudes, it was worth it. Okay, so there's a lot of spies here. So here's what we need to do. We need to go to Tehran and let's do this. Can we? Not negotiate. Oh, that's a lot of money. All right, fund and Oh, that's a lot of money. Did that plane we had patrolling decide? Guys, I think so. We have. We're fifteen and we were fifteen and zero in that. However, apparently. That plan we had controlling was like, yo, dudes, I'm not going to auto-refuel. Okay, so we just lost that aircraft. <laughs> Our first loss of the game is... Oh. Oh, crap, boys. We're, we, we have too many jobs. Crap, okay. Um, I need, I need people to reproduce. Like, 
reproduce now. Thank you. Oh man, we're making tons of money now. All those beautiful uranium mines. We're gonna always auto accept Japan. I love you, Japan. Why can't every country be Japan? Once again. Okay, so let's see how we're doing now with missiles. 115, boys! We got 115 sub launch missiles. Now we just need to get. We're gonna. Let's see. How long until. 23 days until we almost double our missile production? Wait, no, no. It's, oh, it's only 42. We increase it by 50%, though. Which is gonna be huge. And we're also making a lot of money, so this is kinda good. Um, here's what I wanna do. Let's go ahead and let's go down to. We're gonna drop down normal speed for a second. What do we have here? We need more military units. M mounted infantry. Um, so we're going to get you a bunch of strikers being produced. We're going to think this is the reason the production is so short is because we're it's like we're upgrading old strikers because we had a bunch. Actually, begin this video, I got rid of a lot of units because there's a lot of old stuff. I did keep some old stuff. Okay, we have that being produced. Let's go up here. You need strikers too. We need more strikers. Everybody needs a striker. Mostly because we only have 481 produced, and that's just that's not acceptable, boys. 481. It's like one striker for like every 200,000 or one striker battalion. Probably like 200,000 people. It's got to be a one to one. Like. I uh, see you, Fiverr. I'm sorry I didn't see your message. It's in the zone. Get in the zone. Auto zone. Stream brought to you by Auto Zone. You can always go to Auto Zone for all your auto part needs. I wish. I wish, dude. Just hit me up with a sponsor. Just a broke college kid trying to play games. <laughs> okay. Now let's go to tanks and let's. Oh, boys. M1A2s. We'll get these producing up. Okay, so 40. If they're in no reserves, they really don't cost us any money. They cost us money to make, but as you can see, we're, we're doing enough, we're getting enough money. We're going to actually up our social spending to make people's lives better. And so they're going to have great lives and they're going to know how to produce nuclear weapons. It's just ideal for everybody, especially me. And there's the final one coming online. Beautiful. We're just pumping out missiles. We go for a bunch of silo missiles because these are all the ones we canceled beforehand. Make sure that they. So I forgot to turn on continuous production. I may or may not have had a little bit of a boost producing troops, but that's beside the point. Oh, Kosovo. Not really, actually. I think we're all in the. I just invested a lot of money. I mean, look at this. I mean, tell me, Germany. For Germ look at Bre Belgium's size and look at their. Look at that Air Force, dude. We're, I, they just have, they have all theirs, like, they had a bunch of theirs, uh, not deployed, uh, they could strike back, that's why I'm waiting, like, the key is, um, they could strike back, I don't know if they have nukes, um, however, I want to ensure that we have, like, enough nukes to take out every single military base for first they can pull out their reserves, and second, before they can, um, uh, uh, bring out any like uh, nuclear weapons or air force. So where were, 
we're gonna need all of the we're gonna send huge shipments of troops let's make sure that's for that one sub yep we have this one sub just chilling here um do we have any uh come on air transit can we get sea transits Oh, we do. Yes, we can resupply in Qatar. And more, oh, the one country I picked that doesn't <laughs> a naval base. What about Kuwait? Do we have any? Kuwait doesn't like us, which is kind of funny since we're huge allies with Kuwait, IRL. Um, we're gonna start shipping a lot of troops over to the uh, Middle East now. Yes, all the strikers, boys. I'm gonna speed this up while we're doing this, because that way we can deploy them faster. Right, here we go. Sixty-six striker battalions, my dudes. Let's let's get ready. Um, as the kids skate, as the kids skate. The kids say, boys, we're gonna skid it. Let's skid it. We're also gonna need a lot of these. Um, we're also gonna deploy some more of our um, Abrams. So those A rooms are gonna take up pretty much all the transport we have. So let's back, we're gonna pull back all of these just to make it simpler. And we can load up one by one and man, Manhattan would actually sink right now with all these units. I don't think we'll be able to take all these units. No, screw it. We're just gonna we're gonna do it this way just to speed things up. Let's go try and do it all nice and organized, but I don't care. Um, what technology do we have? Anything that's worthwhile? Um, yeah, that looks synthetic fuel. We'll go for that. Synthetic gas. Is there anything that's like? Unlimited energy for like the price of one dollar. Come on. Where's that research? Ooh, depleted uranium. It had me at the word uranium. Okay, here. I'll head there. Sometimes they don't want to going to be able to take all these units. I was not expecting this at all. I was like, I was expecting we were just to go leave, you know, Manhattan full of tanks. Well, you know what that means. I mean, I can't just, I can't take a ship over there for just one tank. I mean, that's just, that's not a good, you know, environmentally conscious anyway. So we're just going to pick more tanks. See, I think we have Bradleys over here. Speed this up so we can get a bunch. There we go. I think I might have to take one extra ship just to get all this on. But you know. 
Let's do this. And yeah, you're right, James. That is a lot. But speaking of a lot, let's see how many misses we have now. Also, boys, do you know what else has a lot? Raid Shadow Legends. They have a lot of characters, so you can play it and spend a lot of time in there. Download Raid Shadow Legends for free and use my product code to get an extra... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that, that, that's my favorite part. It's the fact that one of y'all mentioned that. That was that was great. Definitely made my stream. Still genius marketing. I'm a business major, so that's like it's really funny to me. Like just that. I wonder. I'm wondering what their marketing budget is. Like their budget alone has to be huge because the, just to think of how many YouTubers that that's a that like that memes like come from and we ah oh, perfect we have enough units to take everything whoa next stop turkey okay now boys i'm gonna be right back in one second i gotta grab some drink I'm going to kind of speed things up for a second. I'll let y'all kind of watch what's going on. We'll enjoy the global stage. A little bit of lag, but I got to grab some drink. Y'all go grab some drink and be back in like two minutes. I'll be here, B. And I'm back. I'm out drink some water and scarf down a quick bratwurst, but I am back. <clears throat> now let's see. Wow. And our fleet's here. Okay, let's go to normal speed for a second. Let's go ahead and hit unload. Oof, boys. All I gotta say is oof. So, um, I think the only real way to effectively do this is to simply just bring the giant blob of units right here. Like, this is a close point to Tehran. Um, let's go see if I can put a spy in here. Okay, uh... Recon. We'll just send recon. We'll recon everywhere. 
Also, I feel bad because I'm sending them to recon areas where we're probably gonna nuke. Oh, dude, look at that freedom. Look at all that freedom, boys. Man. Imagine being those Iraqi troops right now, just non-stop seeing lines. You know what, we have flashbacks to Nam. They'd be having flashbacks to the Gulf War right now. Well, we'll send um, a few of the strikers down here. This is beautiful. Okay, let's make sure this guy. Oh, wow. Tons of missiles. Let's load him up. With... How many nukes? Oh, okay. Um, He does not need that many. We're just gonna... He does not need 41 nukes. He needs 20. Five. There we go. Let's see our nuke production is going. Um, wow, we're making money, dudes. Rest of approval ratings 40%, boys. 40%. Oh. So, we do have one issue we're gonna have to contend with is we're gonna have to keep all of this supplied. Come on, can y'all head down there? Are you not able to get down there? Maybe I'll have to send these guys. Do I invade Iraq just so I can- No, I'm not that mean. That's- that's really mean. I was like, I'm gonna invade Iraq, but then- uh, I don't know. Okay. Okay, I need to tell me, chat. Do I- Get one more full grouping of U.S. troops into uh, this territory before I invade, or do I go with what I have? Because I have enough troops. I can double the amount of troops in the Middle East right now, like the minute those transports get back. Should I do that? What's, what are your thoughts? Yes or no? But the upside to waiting is I also um, gives me a chance to increase my amount of nukes, because see how many we're at. We have a decent amount, but you know, you, never, you can never have too many. And James, what do you think? Yeah? Aaron Martinez says yes? Okay, boys, we're gonna... Let's let's go ahead and start getting some more units deployed. What do we have here? Now, we can't have any of these crappy units. Oh, yeah, boys, more strikers. Oh man, this is some nice music for this. This is the this is victory music. Oh, I gotta check out what that said. Whoa, oh, boys, boys, oof! Japan declared war on Russia. Oof. And, oh, oof. Oh, Iran captured one of our spies. Okay, boys, they captured spy. That's one more nuke we're sending to Tehran. That's funny. That's really funny to me that Japan was the aggressor. Oh, man. Oh, that's the issue, boys. We're not producing any more tanks. You know, we got 30, per ta yeah, 30 more tanks, if I could talk. Let's get 30 more here. We'll get 60 more tanks. You can faintly hear the gunfire coming from probably... Oh, 60, let's go. Let's go 75. Here we go. 
What else? Is there any more units I'm back to call out that I'm missing? You know what? There, there's a lot of strikers over here. We'll. We'll. S Chill for a second, because I think, uh, let's see what's going on. Let's see if, has anybody else declared war on? I don't think so, okay. Well, we'll speed things up for a second. Beautiful, okay. Need to go normal speed. We need to get all these troops here. Let's start filling them in. I would love to just see what Manhattan would look like with this. And as soon as we get these guys loaded up, I'll get the music started again. So it looks like we haven't probably gotten a lot of our tanks loaded, which is definitely... Downside to tanks is they're great, but they also weigh a ton. Or 12,000. Oh, dude, we're not even going to have enough room to get everything in here. Oh, well. These will be our backup troops. Yeah, we'll just take a look at things. Oh, wait, we can still get guys into that, uh, that one. As well as guys in the bottom one. Okay, so I'll get these troops moving and I will then speed that up and I will minimize so I can then do there we go let's see oh crap I, f I forgot about those okay well let's slow down for a second we can get all the rest of the troops. Well, awesome. Once again, we had just enough units to transport everything we need. Oh, Macedonia. Okay. You know what? I'm going to use you to get some air transit. And, you know, we'll even be nice. We'll get criminal extradition and free trade going. What the heck? Hold on. Guys. Oh man. What up, Raptor? <laughs> yo, guys, look. Yo, yo, yo always see a meme. Japan, uh, I feel like I've seen this again. I'm getting some, like, deja vu going. Oh, yeah, this is definitely getting suppressed. But it's fun. So let's go ahead and we're going to speed this up until we get the rest of our giant military here. And, uh... Oh, hey, I think we got a few more nukes. I hope y'all are ready. This is going to be in the words of Raptor. <laughs> Big ol'. So we got a research breakthrough. Oh, hey, all that money we spent in, uh... Going for clean energy is helping. Let's see. Let's see what our... Oh, man, we're, we're producing uh, energy like crazy. I hope... I don't think this will get demonetized, but just probably not... Uh, not promoted by YouTube. 
Which, I mean, of course not. It's It's got hate and love, or hate and, you know. I didn't also, I forgot to pray to, um, Daddy Susan before we did this. Okay. Now, I think this is what y'all wanted. So, we'll, uh, we'll keep on speed three until we get all these units here and spread out and going. You gotta love the hip sound of just the battle firing going like crazy. So let's just take a look and see. I wanna I wanna see one thing before we start our war. Let's let's take a mental picture of stuff. Okay, so um, we have that sub there ready. So we have we've only had 284 casualties in all of that one conflict. 284, not terrible. Let's see. Um, nobody else has. Iran has lost 15,000 to... Sorry, um, not Iran. Russia has lost 15,000 to Japan's 400. Japan's 2-0. Russia's 32-16. and 16. Ukraine's not doing so hot. But boys, speaking of hot... Let's, let me, uh, let's, let's do something, um, I like this song. Let's get the rest of these bad boys in here, and let's go attack force size 20, mm, 50%, okay. okay. No! I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Get out of there, go, I just declared war. Off! Oh. Please don't use all my missiles. The memes, boys. I just launched a new gun. I just again. Okay, we still have all of our nukes. It's it's fine. That was a meme and a half. Boys, what I really, what I really meant to do is um. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I lost a new on the on the country I already conquered. Okay. Let's uh let's change something. Option sound because I'm I'm gonna turn the battle sounds down some. Cause that's gonna get really annoying soon. Here's what I meant. Not the United Way. Oh my god, okay, that's that's cancerous. That's very cancerous. Um Middle East. No, no, okay. Or Cuba, we can launch a Cuba. Middle East. Attack force size 75. You know what time it is, boys. What was that? US has declared war in Iran. <gasps> Who would have thought? We go. We're gonna go a little fast off the bat. We're now, we're gonna hold all of our troops back until the first nuke lands. This is a Sigma second, we're just gonna go ahead and launch the first nuke. Boom, first nuke hit. We pretty much one shot their entire city. Let's see, um, casualties. Rand doesn't have any casualties yet. There we go, boys. Y'all, here, guys. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna speed up so y'all can just watch explosions happen everywhere. Use enough missiles. Attack force. Go, go super fast, and we're we're taking out any. This is every single military target. Well, okay. 
<laughs> that was great, boys. I thought we were only gonna hit three or four more. Literally everything. Oh, hey, there they are. Usually the missiles are easier to see. We'll just go ahead and uh, let this continue going. Um, so one thing I learned a while back is we'll just hide that to one. Let's see anything else we feel like doing this. Um, yeah, that produces something. That produces something. Oh crap! I realized what I, I haven't given myself. I haven't given launch authority. Oh, we have launch authority in here. So, okay. Um, one more nuclear strike, boys. How about how about we do one <laughs> one more nuclear strike? Sorry about that. Also, like kind of seizure. Um, 116 nuclear attacks. Let's go. Um. Oops. Oh, it's paused, that's why. Like that. We're gonna mainly take out everything else that's not... Ah, oh, that has a barracks in it. This guy's getting triple raped. Oh. Well, he's getting double raped. Yeah, now he's triple raped. Oh, look at y'all, look at Tehran. Let's speed this up for a second. Work. I don't want to waste any extra nukes in my Seizure warning, seizure warning. Guys, we have this issue. Tehran's still there. there's actually no Tron. What if that just won me the game? Just no Tron. That's how we win. Okay, boys. These guys are going to push for Tron. These guys are just going to push for up there. These guys in the middle, we'll, we'll have them push there. And we'll have these guys go like right there. Oh, dude, he just got cut off. Fiverr, I think I think Fiverr made it back just in time for the nukes to fall. Oh, look at that convoy. Oh, that convoy is so lucky. But are they? Are they really? and F-111s. Whatever we're we gonna do. Just bomb everything. Is there an airbase here? There's not. We need to connect these up here. Press and, um... I'll send a few units back to connect up there to make sure our supply lines are secure. That's the one issue is when you do these mass attacks, supply lines are uh, they're easy to uh, it's easy to get cut off. But don't worry, we have all these beautiful units right here. We'll send a reinforce. Oh man, that looked like a nice unit we just blew up. Well, no, I don't think so. I think Raptor just stopped by for a second. Um, because, uh, I think he was doing a stream earlier.
Boom, boys. Okay, slowly but surely we're getting supply lines going here. You know what we should do in the meantime? We should probably launch another nuclear attack. You know, obviously some stuff survives, so we'll just launch more nukes. Boys, I've seen the up. Oh, oh no! Seriously, I, I've seen. I feel like I might have seen this um, Japan thing before. I don't know about y'all, but just Japan's a claim more than a lot of people, and it's giving me some deja vu. So let's go ahead and send those guys there. We're gonna send these guys here. Oh, come on, we need to keep this completely, like... Once we get these guys resupplied, it's gonna be great. We out of, uh... That, w that had to suck. If we can capture one of these towns, they they could be a very valuable supply point. We'll deploy the F-111s over here. Take out this garrison, we got this. It's like our entire force is like relying upon these couple aircraft. Wait, what? They launched Oh, I land I ran launched missiles against us. A couple days ago. Okay, I ran. Okay, I ran. You wanna launch some missiles at us? Well guess what? Guess who's getting a fifth nuclear strike? Oh, hey, look, here's the fourth one coming in. That's how missile crazy I am today. I'm launching a fifth strike before the fourth strike's even landed. supply almost all the way here. Should have just enough supply to maybe connect our two fronts and to speed up um, resupplying everything else. And leave one tank there. Ensure supply stays. So each shield there is a, um, let's see, I'm going to remove, uh, I think this one says, yeah, unit lost, so. Oh, there's our fifth nuclear strike, boys. Each shield is the site of where at least one nuclear strike took place. In some cases, like, one, some cases, well, that has all of them. I would continue to nuke, except I need these places to remain somewhat, um, in somewhat, like, usable state, so I can continue to use them as supply points. Because I'm gonna run out of points of supply, and I'm gonna have a big issue. Go 
gonna send a couple of vehicles here to ensure that the supply point take uh, stays up. I, I just, I may or may not have like moved so fast. Okay. Yep, yep. guys, LOL. That's, well, we nuked our own forces. That's, okay, we're gonna chill with the nuclear strikes now. For a second. Okay, now we're gonna get we're gonna go fast pace for a second and uh get all these units going. Oh Ukraine was eliminated. Okay, and we just captured Taj, which was the last major spot before Tehran. Captured where Tehran was. Emphasis on was because we moved it like crazy. Capture this, this will give us some nice, uh, easy, somewhat close supply spot. Boys. Boys. We did it. And we're colonizing it. So. Welcome to the United States, Iran, boys. Also known as what the world's gonna look like in you know, three months. So I wanna say thank you everybody for stopping by for this live stream. If y'all wanna see more of this, let me know. Um, this video will probably go live maybe tomorrow or something. Um, I enjoyed this. this is, I wanted to see how the reception would be on the live stream. Um, I might try live streaming some more content like uh instead of doing videos like you know instead of doing a uh, 20 minute video i might do like an hour to our live stream in its place so if y'all want to see that let me know and until next time have a good one boys goodbye <laughs>